My career doing photography around whale research started on March 10th, 1979, and it started with a whale we called Frank. On that day, Jim Darling was out photographing uh, humpback whale tails of singers for making IDs and also recording their song. And one of the songs they were recording, when they looked down at the hydrophone down below the boat, they could see the whale below the boat, 50 feet down, hanging still in the water, so they called me over. I was working in the area with an IMAX film crew, and Jim had been working with us. Uh, he knew I was a free diver, and he asked me if I could dive, free diving with no bubbles, down under the singing humpback whale and take a picture of its genitals. Uh, it was 1979. I was a kid. It sounded like a good idea at the time. I'm not sure they told me how loud it was going to be. As I got close to the tail, the sound was overwhelming. Uh, you could feel it in your air spaces, in your chest, and in your sinuses, almost like somebody was punching you. And as I went by the tail, it was, it was disorienting. I was getting ready to take a picture, and I could see the tail of the animal rising up above me. And I was just sure he was going to pound me into the sand. Every uh, scene of Gregory Peck and Moby Dick came back. But, but he wasn't. All he was doing was looking back under his pectoral to see who was back under his tail blowing bubbles on his genitals. It turned out that singing humpback whales were males, and we would see Frank many times in the future, including this picture from the 1999 National Geographic magazine story on humpback whales. I met Frank and Jim Darling 41 years ago. I haven't seen Frank in a while, but I'm still working with Jim. If you have questions, send them along. I'll try and get back to them in the near future. Thank you.